Hey, welcome to another beer review at beersandbars.com. Um, coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, from my room at the Encore. But I got a special deal because usually it's full price. I couldn't afford it. I'm just putting it out there. All right. So today, because of the special occasion of me staying in a hotel, I probably won't stay at again. I decided to buy me some Samuel Adams and splurge a bit. Um, I bought the variety pack, the Brewer's Choice. I've already had a few, like you couldn't tell. Either way, I cut my hair, my hair fell off, stuff happens, deal with it. So I'm going to be reviewing Mighty Oak Ale. Okay. Me personally, when I started drinking different beers, um, all I've been drinking was uh, lagers. And I thought that's the way beer was supposed to taste. Until I got into this beer game and I decided to try something different. And I started picking up ales. And soon and quickly, ales started becoming my favorite. What I can't understand is uh, reading up on beers is that lagers are more expensive to make. And yet, I guess the thing is that you could mess around with ales a little bit more and be more experimental and and lagers when it comes down to it you can't really do much to it but ales so let me review Mighty Oak Ale from uh, Samuel Adams uh, first of all let me tell you off the bat while I'm opening it that the ABV is 5.7 so all the beers pretty much from the variety pack have been in the fives so that's you know typical so you can see I've been drinking some so there is some lacing from previous beers so let's pour this sucker alright All right. well the first thing that should strike you is the color of it um, the other two beers that I um, drank today the only two beers that I drank today. Okay. The other two beers that I reviewed are the Whitewater IPA and the Alpine Springs, and they both were um, cloudy. But as you can see, this one strikes you as pretty red, a red, uh, I would say almost an amber color. And you can still see my beautiful face through it. Um, so you can see the, the head itself is quite decent, about two or three fingers. Um, now the the aroma is what catches me. It's different than um, the other two that I tried today, the Alpine Springs and the um, Whitewater IPA, which were um, both really had a, a citrusy aroma. Um, this one, I mean, it has a, a, a bready smell, but uh, I mean, I never really leaned up against the tree, but. I guess that other smell would be the oak since it is called um, Mighty Oak Ale. Alright, let's try this sucker. It does, it really has like a, a, a sweet, a sweet taste to it. So. I mean, if you wanted to, I think it, to be real cool. I mean, to end um, to end a meal, a real hearty meal. I mean, to add this as a dessert, I think would be great, because it almost has that bready, that bready at the end of meal taste. It's 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 sweet. Um, you you could like almost um, you know. I mean, the sweetness really comes out. I mean. That's what really stand out. So I would, I would really recommend this maybe at the, at the end of a meal, replace dessert, replace this, or even, I mean, if you could have like a course of beer, this would be the, the end course, because this would be the topper. This would, this would finish the beer tasting that you had. Um, so I enjoyed it. 
um, the other two uh, new styles that I tasted, I would put, I would grade from the um, from the Samuel Adams Brewery Brewers Choice from the 12 pack from the new styles. So I would place Alpine Springs one, the Whitewater IPA two, and then the Mighty Oak AL three. But all in all, all three of them were great beers. I really enjoyed them. I really thank uh, Samuel Adams for adding some taste to my um, to my Vegas trip. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please follow beersandbars.com on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. Check out my website. Click here and there. And if you haven't done so, have a great beer. Hey, I thank you for looking at my beer review. Uh, comment if you want. Be nice. Because the worse the comments are, the more hair I lose. And as you can see, I lost all of it. So just be a little bit nicer. All right, guys. Thank you. Be safe coming to you from Vegas. Be safe out there and always have fun.